Oh man, talk about book ending, right? I mean, like, I start, I ended the last video here, and I'm starting the last video in the exact same location. It's not like I record these all at once or anything. I mean, geez. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. So last time, we defeated the other two Post sisters, Amy, cute name, and Meg, who I'm not making a Family Guy joke towards. So. We are going to do the rest of the dungeon here in this video. Yes, we're going to end off the dungeon here. So, before we do that, actually, um, you want to know how that we can enter that room finally? Well, of course, there's an eye switch, and you always have to shoot the eye right there. And, of course, with that, you can actually enter this part of the room should you have forgotten that one skull that was here. And speaking of that one gold skull that was there, we haven't actually seen what's in that treasure chest. I mean, I know, I know we have, I know we have technically been there before, and I technically could have done this sooner. But yeah, I wanted to get that skull first. Hooray! I feel so rewarded. All my efforts for hook shotting all the way up to here. Has, has gotten me a recovery heart, which I can easily, you know, do. <laughs> which I can easily do. Yep. Yeah, whatever. So anyway, that's about it. So there are no more small keys to get at this point. If you have at least four gold skeletons gotten in this dungeon, one at the main entrance to the temple, one in this room, one, two on the outside of the uh, temples that we just gone through. If you have those gold skulltulas, you're basically good to go in order to move onward here. I've already checked, and yes, I did indeed. I do indeed have those uh, gold skulltulas. So, yeah, I'm good for the rest of the dungeon. So, anyway, the boss room is right over there. It's locked, and of course, this cage is keeping us from entering it. So, you know what? Let's move the wall. So, basically what you want to do for this last part of the dungeon is just basically move the wall in a counterclockwise fashion. Like, push it to the left. And then activate the switches in these little rooms here. So, yeah. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting little last bit of a thing to do for the uh, temple, if I do have to say so for myself. And of course, uh, there is going to be, as you can clearly hear, the last gold skeletal that's here. So, just simply put, you have to move wall at least four times, I believe. And then on this third rotation, I believe this is where the uh, gold skeletal is, I want to say. Because I know for a fact that there is no switches right here. And, yeah, right here. Right here is the gold skeletal. So, with that, we have every gold skeletal here. Nice indeed. And what does that bring our counter up to? 51, okay. 51. So, we have enough to get a, wor a very worthwhile reward from the uh, gold skeletal house in Kakariko Village. So, yeah, going to remember that for, for next time. And, finally, push this one last time. Clean the uh, dust off my laptop, because I am probably a clean freak for keeping my laptop all clean. And with that, that's it. We have now opened the way up to the boss area. So, there are no jars, what a jerk, of a dungeon to heal ourselves up with. So, you know what? We're going for this all guns blazing. I have full health. I have only like three fourths of my magic. I'm okay. Let's go.
Yeah, Jesus Christ. They stole the shadow content from Persona. This is the evil spirit from beyond. Phantom Ganon. So this boss is actually pretty interesting. So, you see that there's a Phantom Ganon running at the wall. Running toward us. And there's another one. So, you have to attack him once he comes out of one of the pictures. And if that one was fake... Um, he won't come out of the picture, and instead the real one will attack us with that beam energy thing. So, there's a pretty, actually, easy way to tell which one is the fake one, so... Just make sure you keep on track of which one is the brightly colored one, and which one's the darker toned one. So, obviously the brighter one... The brighter one is the obvious one to go after. So, pretty easy way to tell. So... Again, once Phantom Ganon, like, jumps out of the wall right there, uh, or at least as soon as he, like, starts to create the warp between, you know, the wall and, you know, the real world, that's when you attack him, like that. And now it's time to fight him for himself. It's an evil ghost of the Forest Temple. He comes out of one of the pictures. Answer his magic attack with an attack of your own. So what he's gonna do right here now is he's going to, well... To throw out an energy ball at us, and we have to smack it back. And you want to know what's actually really funny? It's actually really funny. You can actually use an empty bottle against them. Now, actually, I, I, I actually think this might be it. Yeah, you can. You can actually use an empty bottle against them. If you can believe that's a thing. Yep, I'm killing Phantom Ganon's ass with an empty bottle. How cool is that? How emotionally cool is that? Ow. That's what I get for using an empty bottle, I guess. So, if you get tired like that, that means you're going to have to play a round of, of good old-fashioned win window bin tennis. Ow. <laughs> yep. Just a good old-fashioned round of uh, Wimbledon tennis. You know, like we watch every year. Now, there is actually one more attack that Phantom Ganon will sometimes use. I know he used it. I knew he used it against me in practice, but I'm getting ahead a lot here. This is really weird. Um... Phantom Ganon will sometimes charge at you when his spear lights up and turns all colorful and whatnot. So, yeah, sometimes I'll happen, but other, but he very rarely uses it, honestly. So, yeah, there's probably not a chance you're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to see it here. But just know that he does attack you sometimes with that. Now you can't actually get f closer to Phantom Ganon, thereby throwing off his timing. But that can also throw off your timing as well. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see Tennis Awesomeness. Because he'll dodge out of the way like that. Okay. Sure. Alright. Let's see. Come on. Get him closer. Alright. There we go. Yeah! That's what we're talking about. Die, you biatch! Hey! Not really a hard boss, but he's pretty interesting in concept. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. So once again, we're forced to get in the concept that Ganon might have a shadow, I guess. I don't know. So anyway. Get this heart container. And let's be on our way. Oh my god, you guys, it's totally different. We're escaping from a crystal. We're Final Fantasy. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the for the sage of the Forest Temple. The Forest of the Sage Temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. 
Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now please, take this medallion. So it turns out Saria was a sage all along. Not really a big twist in mind, but you know, it's a twist nonetheless. Saria will always be your friend. Ah, but still friend zoned. That's rough, buddy. And immediately, just like before, we were back to. You know, the Great Decker Tree. Ooh, what's this? A thing in the ground. Link must go check it out because it's a thing in the ground. <laughs> Jeez, man. Jeez. Hello. Hi there. I am the Decker Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot! Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you may have already guessed, you're not a Kokiri. You're actually a Hylian. I am so happy to finally reveal the secret to you! Okay, first of all, how do you know my secret? Second of all, um, how are you talking like fluent English? And third, you kind of remind me of Flowey, except he's not as satanic. But, whatever. Hey guys, at least you got your Undertale reference for today. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny whose fate would infect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now finally the day of destiny has come. You're Hylian, and you're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now Link, break the curses on all of the temples, and return peace to Hyrule! Yay, so the Dicker Tree now has a little bit of a sprout that's got a little sunlight in it. That's cute. But more importantly than that, um, if you try to talk to him again, by the way, um, he'll just say, Hi, I'm the Great Deku Tree Sprout, and, you know, all that, all that stuff that you would come to expect. So now that the Forest Temple has been, you know, restored to normal, by extension, everyone is now back to living their everyday lives out here. They now have gone outside. Of course, you still have no mouth, obviously. I feel like you, I've known you for a long time, mister. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure, kid. Uh, how about you? How about you, Mr. Guy, sir? Teach me some fancy fencing! All I've ever done was tap B all my life! <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty funny, but... Yeah. Anywho, uh, how about you? I still think you really look like somebody I've seen before, mister. That's because I am him! <laughs> okay. 
So I want to actually talk to Miro here because he actually says something interesting after you clear the forest temple. So I'll meet you guys over at Mido. Hi there. Oh, I see. Sorry I won't ever come back. But I I made a promise to Saria. If Link ever came back, I would be sure to tell him that Saria had been waiting for him. Because Saria really liked. Like who? Like who, mister? Hey, you. If you see him somewhere, please let him know. And also, I'm sorry for being mean to him. Tell him that too. At least, at least he's finally realizing that he's not always that he doesn't always have to be a jerk all his life. I mean, yeah. Because you know, if you really look back into the whole background of this situation, because you know, Link is definitely not like the other Kokiri as we just learned, right? So he was always treated rather differently, as it were, among the Kokiri. I mean, technically they were still really friendly to them, but he was treated, you know differently as he were, and Mito was always bullying him, for whatever reason, because you know, he's the bully. You think Groos was bad? Well, yeah, I don't know. Groos is still better, but whatever. Um, Saria was really the only friend that he ever had, so, yeah, if you really look at it that way, Link had a pretty depressing childhood, I have to say. Just being stuck in this forest, just drawing all those pictures on a house, which, by the way, that was actually clever foreshadowing, by the way, that, you know, drawing on Link's house that we saw in part 17, which was actually one of the thumbnails, actually. And, uh, yeah, Link finding a big monster. Now Link fights monsters in real life, too, so... Yeah, I guess we finally come full circle, I guess. In that sort of respect. But, anyway... Now that we're done with all of that, and with that gold Skulltula collected, that is every piece of gold Skulltulas that we can get in the Kokiri Forest, Sacred Sacred Forest Metal and Lost Woods. So now there's really no reason to come back here. Well, all except for one thing, but we'll save that for next time. But now what I want to do is, I want to head back to the Temple of Time, because now that we cleared the Forest Temple, there's actually something very worthwhile for you to do, so... And you're probably going to want to do at some point, so... I'll meet you guys there. Okay, here we are back at the Temple of Time. Oh, and by the way, right here, this is where in Ocarina of Time 3D, another Sheikah Stone will appear, similar to the one by Link's house in Ocarina 3D as well. So I'll show a picture of that on screen, but yeah, just want to let you know that it's there. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there's still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. Sheik will actually say something a little bit extra here that's only in Ocarina of Time 3D, but I'll mention that in a little bit. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. Oh, 
Oh, hey, come on. That's not fair. I want to do that. I want to be able to disappear in ninja awesomeness, but whatever. Anyway, we now have the ability to go back to our own time. So, simply just press A at the pedestal of time, and you'll return back to your original time period seven years. But, more importantly than that, um... We might as well equip our Digger Shield here, why not? For when we have to, you know, go back to our original time for whatever things. Um... What she will say ex something extra in Ocarina of Time 3D is... Well, if we want to relive our, our greatest battles with our greatest foes, we have to make for our bed in our house in the Kokiri Forest. Then, once you select the option, we live a battle, you'll be able to relive a boss fight that you have previously encountered. So at this point, in Ocarina of Time 3D, you'll be able to rematch each of the bosses up to Phantom Ganon. So, it's basically a little bit of a time attack mode, as it were, in that, you know, you have, you know, uh... Basically, it's a time attack mode for boss fights. Let's just say that. Well, I'll just say that right here and right now. But here's the catch, though. You will have the minimum amount of hearts that you would have had at that period of time. So, let's just say you're fighting King Dodongo. You will have five Even hearts, Ricky know that not right. bombs, and whatever other items that you will have at the time. Sometimes, some of the items will be removed, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the a, that's a whole catch of the whole boss fight thing. But still, it's a really nice feature. I really like it a lot. Like, I've done, I've done, you know, some time attacks in my, in my, in my spare time. You know, whenever I beat in the game and stuff, so. Yeah, that's pretty neat. But, either way, we are done here. So, we have, you know, cleared the forest temple. We awakened Saria as a sage. Um, we have done other things, and... We now have the ability to go back to our original time. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we are going to, well, go back to the future because I actually want to do all the things that I want to do first before going back to being a kid and, you know, doing all sorts of stuff there. So with that being said, I will see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Look at Link holding the sword right there. Look at that. We are now time time hopping. Okay, so see you guys on next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.